you mean to tell me it's other people out there that think as crazy as I do? You mean to tell me that it's other people in the NFL media whose voice we respect that think as crazy as I do too? Ooh, <laughs> if Ravens did this, boy, I, I would love it. I, oh, I would love it. And you know what's so crazy is that it's still possible. Let's have a listen. Let's totally change the tenor of the conversation on the spot. And we, you know what they should do on top of it? They should call uh, the Arizona Cardinals. What, if, what do you need for DeAndre Hopkins? Ooh, wow. Keep going. Keep going. Lamar's not going to sign a tender or want to go play with those two guys? With that running game and Roquan Smith coming downhill in the middle of that defense? Get out of here. Won't cost him a one. You could still use your one. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. I know they don't have all their draft choices. They're, they, 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 they've they already lost some, but go for it. As they already said, second round pick, they don't have it. Huh. The second round pick was Roquan Smith. That's what DaCosta <laughs> said last week. Sold. Okay, fine. Here we go. Here we go. You see, I knew I always liked Rich Eisen, but now I, I simply love Rich Eisen because I love that way of thinking. We've been talking about all offseason. Especially when the, the the height of the Ravens being interested in Odell Beckham Jr. was there, when their interest was peaked in Odell Beckham Jr. And it was like, oh, okay, well, even if they do get Odell Beckham Jr., I would like it, but they could still and should still do more uh, simply because of the injury history and whatnot. And again, to just really go overkill, even though, you know what, in my opinion, it wouldn't even be overkill. The more, the merrier. Don't you want your quarterback happy? Don't you want him and them to have more options? Because the more options, the more diverse your offense, the more diverse your passing game, the harder it is for defenses to cover somebody. Like, who, who's it going to be? Oh, we got to double cover DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, no, we got to double, double cover Odell Beck. Oh, no, what about Rashad Bateman? Oh, but... But then there's Mark Andrews, too. And you still got to account for J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards coming out of the backfield. Or if Lamar decides, you know what, I do feel like running, then you got to watch out for him, too. I would love it. I would love it. And again, it's possible. See, I, I like how he framed this whole thing. Because he talked about how DeAndre Hopkins is not going to cost a first-round draft pick. And we all knew that. We all knew that going into this whole thing. When it was first announced, oh, the, the, the Cardinals are trying to get rid of DeAndre Hopkins. Everybody knew that he, they weren't going to get a first for DeAndre Hopkins. They, they didn't even give up a first to get DeAndre Hopkins. But we don't even need, need, need to talk about that trade. But they're not. And the reason why they weren't going to get a first for DeAndre Hopkins is because they put it out there to the world like, hey, we're trying to get rid of DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, if we can't find a trade partner, we could end up releasing him. When you put that out there like that, you ain't getting no first for that player. You're not. You're not going to get it, well, especially in this situation. Some situations are different. But with DeAndre Hopkins, you're not going to get a first for him. A second round pick? Mm, probably not. Probably not. I think it will start at about a third. That, I think that's going to be the highest that they get for DeAndre Hopkins, it's especially because with him, you're trying to offload his salary. You're trying to offload his salary from your team and put that on somebody else. So that brings down the value of the trade from the Cardinals side, at least. Oh, actually, from both sides, because that, that brings down not necessarily bring down DeAndre Hopkins value because we know he is a very valuable receiver, but it brings down the compensation because it's like, oh, we got to take on. And this is where the compromise comes in, because it's like, oh, you're getting DeAndre Hopkins. Hey, give us a really good draft pick. But the other team could be like, oh, oh no, we got to take on his compensation, and that's his compensation, and we got to rework a deal for him. Oh, you need to lower what you're asking for. So we'll see. But I would love, love, love. Y'all, y'all already know how I would feel about it. I would love if the Ravens did that. I would love it because, hey, like Rich Eisen said, you think Lamar ain't gonna come back and play now? Nah, about playing on that tender, that not that non-exclusive franchise. I don't know about that part. They may need to rework that too. But that could definitely entice Lamar to be like, "Oh, oh, really? Oh, y'all doing it like that? Okay, I want to Odell Beckham Jr. Y'all got him, but then y'all went and got DeAndre Hopkins too." Whew. 
Ravens. Ravens. I know y'all ain't put anything out there that made us believe y'all were going to do this. I know there haven't been any rumors out there recently after the Odell Beckham Jr. that made us believe you were going to do this, but we won't be mad if you do it. I promise you we won't. We really won't. Now, something else that Rich Eisen talked about um, as far as the draft picks. Ravens only got, what, like five draft picks. And he talked about it, and we started talking about that early, but we started going off on a tangent. You know how it goes. But he said, you won't have to use your first for this. And we know that the Ravens won't. They wouldn't have to use the first-round pick for it. But it would probably start around like a third, maybe fourth, whatnot. So if you trade away that pick for a DeAndre Hopkins, it's like, hey, you know what you're getting out of DeAndre Hopkins. It's not like a draft pick where it's like, hmm, could this player work out? Will this player work out? Are they going to be good? Huh? Are they going to be able to hang in the NFL? Are they going to be able to handle it? But DeAndre Hopkins, those questions ain't there. You know what he's done. And then think about this, too. With DeAndre Hopkins, obviously, last year, past couple of years, he had Kyler Murray as his quarterback. Kyler Murray is cool, but remember when he was with the Texans? And take out Deshaun Watson. But DeAndre Hopkins, he had a lot of bad quarterbacks in his life. He had a lot of bad quarterbacks throughout his tenure in Houston. His time in Houston was it was not spent with great QB play for the most part. But he still put up numbers. Still put up numbers. So DeAndre Hopkins could produce with those guys in Houston, and no offense to those guys in Houston, all those quarterbacks that he played with, just imagine what he could do with a Lamar Jackson. And imagine what a Lamar Jackson could do with him. Oh, boy. Trying not to sell myself on this dream, but this is something that y'all know that I have wanted for a very, 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 very long time. A very long time. And just thinking about the possibility of it happening, oh, my goodness, it would be great. It would be great. But what Rich Eisen also talked about, like with the second-round pick, yeah, Ravens don't have a second-round pick this year, but what happened to it? Oh, Roquan Smith, that's their second-round pick this year. And that's the way that you got to look at stuff like that because I know people, uh, Ravens too, <laughs> not just people, but Ravens and, and some people get so – caught up with draft picks, and I get it, draft picks are cheaper, they're younger, they're inexperienced, but in college, a lot of them have done their thing, that's why they're getting drafted, because teams like what they did in college, and, but with the, with the draft, it's, it's a gamble, and it's, it's much more of a gamble than a trade, in my opinion, because when you trade for somebody, you're trading for an established player, somebody who has proven themselves in the NFL. And you know what they've done. You know what they can do. You know the possibilities. But not even just the possibilities. You know the reality. You know what it is. You ain't even got about. You ain't even got to worry about what it could be. You ain't got to think about what it could be. You already know what it is. But with the draft, it's a gamble, and it's a gamble that you obviously hope pays off. It's a, it's a gamble that you hope uh, goes through in a good way. But it's a gamble nonetheless. So would you rather and just. For instance, just use a third-round pick, for example. Would you rather that third-round pick be on a rookie? And, I mean, the rookie wide receiver, if you even want to say that. Because it could work out. It could possibly work out. It really could. Or would you rather that third-round pick be on a DeAndre Hopkins? I know my answer. How about you? Whoever got the flag, then I'm with y'all. 
And Graver lock you up, we playing football okay. I'm a fanatic, you see we got the magic Hey yeah, my boys are savage and open challenge and madden Let's go Make a rage quit, exit out the door, exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore